guys. Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Uh, we got a, a, a dignitary in the house. We got jazz guitar player <laughs> Ron Jackson visiting from New York. Hey, Dude, nice. My, yeah, I'm happy to be here. I just flew in. My arms hurt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he's a jazz guitar player, not a comedian. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, we, uh, we've had a lot of fun getting to know each other and jamming. And we met in New York. And he actually, right before we filmed this, he gave me a nice jazz guitar lesson. So thank you for that. And after mm -hmm. we did that, we thought of some ideas for some videos. So we got a cool George Benson-y lick, but it's bluesy. It's based on a D minor chord. You can play this D minor chord up here. And I put, and actually the lick starts on this note of the D minor, which we call the 9, which is the E against the D minor. So it's really easy to see. I always like to show my students to be able to see the chord or the lick they're playing over the chord, actually, so they can relate the lick to the chord. So it's not just some random lick out of the air. So we usually start this lick right with this third finger right here on the 12th fret. And we're going to go up to this note like this, which is the third, okay? It's actually a cool lick as it kind of cycles around like a circle. So we're gonna go up to this lick. I'll show you the first part real slow. Okay, we're actually going up from the third finger on the 12th fret to the 13th with your fourth finger. And then we go back here to the 12th fret with your third. And, and we're gonna pass to the second finger to the, uh, from the 11th fret to the uh, 10th fret with your first finger, like this. And I, I would suggest practicing that over and over. That's a good lick alone. Watch this. I like to do this, actually. Like this. Okay? Now what happens is I do the same lick on, on the next string, basically. I go like this. Before I get to that lick, I'll go like this to the 13th fret and go up. When I get to this note here, so the next lick is like this. It's the seventh of the D minor. It looks like this, a D minor seven, which, which is a C against the D. And what I'm doing is I'm going up from the 13th fret, going up down to the 10th. 11th with my second finger and then 12th with my third finger and it starts to, that same lick again like we did before. Watch this. It's the same pattern as this. So the first lick goes like this. Now we throw this lick before we do the, the same pattern again before that one, with this, slowly. Then we do that same lick again. Okay, let me, just, let me start from the beginning again. Okay, so what we're doing, actually, we're starting on the nine again. When we get to here, we start to look again, we're on the 6th now. So you can see how the chord, or the lick actually falls right into the chord of a minor 9. Now minor 6. Okay. But what's really cool about this lick, I can do the same thing on the 3rd and 4th string and the 5th and 6th string by cycling it around like this. So I do that same lick. with this extra section in here to lead up to the next, the same part again, same fingering. Then I put this note here on the third string. Now that lick is almost like this, but I'm going from here. Or, and I'll do the same exact lick when, after I do this one. did a 
So first, like we learned, and I put that note there, and I, I lead up to this note again that starts in the same like that, an octave lower, and do the same lick again. Now I can cycle it down to here by playing that same note that, that we started with over here. Like we did before. I'm doing it over here now on the fifth string. Okay, let's play the whole lick very slow now from the very beginning. And see, you can see how it cycles across the whole fingerboard from the first and second string to the third and fourth to the fifth and sixth string. Here we go. One, two, three, four. The checks in the mail. Oh, yeah. Um, but okay. anyway, <laughs> real quick, you guys, just remind you, check out Ron Jackson, the link below the box. Check out his music. You know, I, it, it's great. He's a great guy as well. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. See you guys. Okay. <laughs>